welcome to Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Oh, I've realised my voice is starting to go. I hope I haven't got Mark's lurgy. Um, anyway, as you can see on the screen, we have another of these fabulous fog of war puzzles today. This has been described as the best fog of war puzzle yet by a couple of the testers. It's called Fogrotto and it's by Math Pesto. Um, and I think it's called for Grotto, which is an unpleasant word. <laughs> and I, but I think that's a portmanteau of fog and grotto because there seem to be some cave rules going on in this puzzle. Um, and grotto being a synonym for cave at, at, and at this time of the year, a very suitable synonym. Um, Santa's grotto and all that. Um, this is what I think is going on. I don't know how hard this is, by the way. Um, Hmm, I don't know. Math pesto is normally quite intricate, so this could be quite quite challenging. Uh, you'll have to judge it from the length of the video. Um, but what do I need to mention before we kick off with Fogrotto? There were some things I needed to talk about today. Many things, many things. I'm going to forget them all. Let's start with some birthdays then. So I'd like to wish, start by wishing J.S. Hedigard a very happy birthday today. Um, and I have to say, JS, that, um, well, I know you're a frequent commentator on the on the channel, always with incredibly erudite stuff. Um, I remember you rewrote the lyrics to The Sound of Silence. And I just, um, today, I saw that you'd rewritten the lyrics to The Mod Modern Major General as well in an incredibly clever way. Um, and I would have played that on the guitar, but I don't know, I don't know actually how to play Modern Major, Gen Major General on the, on the guitar. But what I will say, is that I've, I've had several different emails um, about your birthday. Um, two nieces and a nephew have been in contact with us. So Michaela, Kate and Chris, thank you all for your emails. And um, uh, I'm just delighted to wish your auntie, Aunt JS, a very happy birthday today. And I hope that you have lots of cake, obviously. Um, and also another birthday today, Michael, you've turned 27. I know this because we had an email from your friend, Jace, and he said it might be a nice thing also if we wish you luck with veterinary school. So we hope that goes extremely well. And um, I hope you have a cake filled day. Um, other than that, now Fistimafel's Sudoku Hunt is all but ready. At the time this video goes live, it may be ready. So if you're a patron of the channel, get yourselves over to Patreon. Is it there or not? I don't know. Um, it depends. Um, it depends whether we've received it. I know Fistamafel was intending to send it over uh, later on today. And if we get it, we will release it. So um, it's very, very exciting. If, if you do try it, if you get through it, obviously you have to send us a message. It'll become clear what you have to do at the end. Um, if, if when you send us the message, you can drop us any feedback that we can pass on to the setter, please do that. It, it's just, you know, um, the amount of effort that must have gone into creating this hunt, I cannot tell you. It is just startlingly good. It is the Sudoku event of the year, and it would be nice to send Fistimafel uh, some comments back um, and give him some love about these magnificent, magnificent puzzles. Um, Anyway, uh, what else is going on on, uh, on Patreon? We've got um, more correct entries. Well, we're closed now on the cryptic scriptures of the Secret Snake Society. Here we go. This has been a very, very popular hunt. And I, I have been bowled over by how many people. Um, and we've had thousands of people who have solved enough puzzles to enter the competition. And I'll, I'll draw the winner in the next couple of days. And that's really, really good solving to solve that many puzzles. But we have had, I think, getting on for 700 people who have solved all of the puzzles. And that is stellar solving. Some of those puzzles were really hard. Um, so very well done to uh, Kate Savaria, Daryl Dean, Angela Cooper. And thank you for your email, Angela. It was very kind and meant a lot. Um, Callum Mailer, Luke Craig. Tom Cooperthwaite, Phil Schaffer, Trevor Nicholas, Colm Gallagher, Sarah Mayo, Mark Glazebrook, Jean-Marc Lau, Amit Sharma, Stephen Ness, and Angela Kay over in Michigan. All of you sent in the correct entries. Very, very well done indeed. Now, 
that's said and done. Let us get on with the grotto and see what Math Pesto has in store. Am I wearing the right? I am wearing my, my right glasses. I don't know why I think I can't see. That's a bit worrying. Um, I've got my Santa's hat on. We're entering the grotto and these are the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Fog of war. The grid is covered mostly in darkness. It certainly is. Placing correct digits in cells will illuminate more of the grid. Right, so the first thing I need to tell you here is don't cheat. So if you wanted to, you could sort of put the digits one to nine in every cell and reveal everything that's behind the fog. That is cheating. Don't do that. The idea is that you solve it in the way that the constructor intended, which means we're only going to be able to work with the white cells. Um, and for example, if we got that digit, it would illuminate. I think it would illuminate those cells because I think the way it works with the fog of war is it sort of it will illuminate the cells around itself. Um, now, cave rules. Cells are either wall or cave cells. Walls are orthogonally connected to the edge of the grid and the cave is one orthogonally connected area. Now, if you've been watching Cracking the Cryptic for the last few weeks, you'll have seen a few a few puzzles with a rule set like this, and I'll explain what it means in a bit more detail in a moment. Um, a two by two area cannot be fully wall nor fully cave. Okay, that's, that's a slightly unusual rule. White circles are cave cells, so we've got some white circles. These are caves, and the value in a circle is the number of cave cells seen in that row or column, including the cell itself. Walls obstruct vision. Right, so how am I going to do this? Actually, I've just suddenly realized that normally my, my color I use for walls is gray. Ah, so I'm going to have to do something else. Now, I'm just going to use this cell because I think if I, if I put a number in this cell, it's not going to reveal any of the the gray because it's too far away. So let's make that cell five. Now, if this was a five, we know it's part of the cave because it says so. So let's make it green for green for cave. Uh, now, what do the rules say? They say that this has to be orthogonally connected to all the other green cells in the grid. Orthogonally connected means sharing an edge. So those two cells are not orthogonally connected. These three are orthogonally connected because each of them shares an edge with the others, or that they're connected by an edge, via an edge. Um, now this five would be telling us that this circle sees five cave cells, so five green cells, and it could be in a, it could be up here, it could be like those five cells, that would be completely legitimate. If those two cells were wall, let's make the wall blue. Yeah, I can see that blue is different from the gray. So this would be a legitimate way of filling this five clue because it sees two here, two here, and it sees itself. So that is correct in theory. Now it could also, of course, be, um, it could be all five in that direction. So if we make all of those five green, make this wall or cave, and then that cave, you can see this cell now it only sees five again, but it, it, it doesn't see any vertically. So that would be another legitimate way of filling in this circle. Um, so hopefully that's clear. And we can't have a two by two of green and we can't have a two by two of cave, um, sorry, of wall, because um, uh, that's gonna be against the rules. Now, a cage contains no repeated digits. Oh, I see we have got, oh, that cave looks wrong actually. Oh, in fact, that cave, I've only just noticed that these cave totals are wrong. So something's going on there. Uh, a cage contains no repeated digits and the values of the cave cells sum to the given total. Wall cells don't count towards the sum. I understand how that's going to make that one work. Note, a cage's clue doesn't necessarily appear in the uppermost nor leftmost cell. Right, a oh, good grief. Right, so we're going to have to be very careful with our, of our with our cages today because they're going to be, I mean, imagine that was a cage. I think what it's saying is that the total for the cage could be in the bottom right cell. It wouldn't, it would normally be in the top left cell by convention, but here it could be anywhere. Oh, double, okay. 
<laughs> so when I scanned the rules before and I saw cave before I turned on the webcam, I didn't scroll down and I've just discovered there are doublers and that's why this cage is going to be possible isn't it okay doubler a doubler appears exactly once in each row column and three by three box for the purposes of circles so oh, the purposes of circles and cage sums each cell's digits are doubled in value each digit is doubled once oh my goodness right I have totally change my mind about this puzzle is going to be hard I'm telling you that for nothing if we've got doublers going on with cave rules and killers in which the totals are are strange <laughs> this is going to be monstrous right do have a go at for grotto by math pesto the way to play is to click the link under the video as usual now I get to play let's get cracking I'm going to start off with the secret now, you may say, well, the secret's only relevant from an arithmetic point of view, Simon. I already know the secret. No, there is a secret for cave puzzles as well. Now, the secret to cave puzzles is the following. Is this pattern ever legitimate in a cave puzzle? And the answer is, because this puzzle wasn't designed by Magnus Josephson, it's not going to work. Uh, you'll have seen Magnus Josephson managed to basically allow this in a cave puzzle the other day because of some very, very cunning jiggery pokery. But in a normal cave puzzle, and this does seem to be normal cave rules, this is impossible. And the reason it's impossible is that we have to make sure all the green cells connect to one another. And however I do that, let's do it like that. How do you get this wall cell to orthogonally connect to the edge of the puzzle. You cannot do it. And that's one of the conditions. Walls are orthogonally connected to the edge of the grid. So, so this doesn't work. You can never have a checkerboard arrangement in, um, in one of these puzzles, in a, in, a, in a cave puzzle. So don't do that. It won't work. Um, other than that, I know I don't think I've got any other secrets to tell you. I don't know any secrets about doublers. Um, so we're going to have to invent the logic ourselves. Um, let's get cracking. Um, so, well, there must be a doubler in this cage because you can't make four different Sudoku digits add up to 33. Six, seven, eight, and nine only add up to 30. So there's definitely a doubler in there. Um... Okay. Oh, hang on. Did it say circles were, were part of the... Did it say circles were part of the cave? I think it did, because that's that's how we were getting the count of the internal walls. Uh, white, white circles are cave. Right, so we can instantly uh, green these cells. Um, right, so how's this working then? So that two clue is not wall so it is contributing to the total of two in this cage so even if that's a oh it can't be a double one because the doubler in this the doubler in this box is in this cage so it's not a doubled one so this must be the only green cell in this cage because if there was another green cell it would be one add two at least and one add two is greater than two it's it's three <laughs> there's the knowledge bomb for you so those two cells i think have to be a wall and that wall is orthogonally connected to the edge so that's that's fine so that is right so that ah now this this is where i love these fog of war puzzles i mean this is the great innovation in sudoku for last year isn't it when i put the two in here if it is correct it will reveal this these cells let's see Yay! Okay, I get immediately two more greens there because they are circles. Oh, it said don't have two by twos. Don't have two by twos of anything. So that cell's got to be uh, a wall. Uh, and this, right, this is huge. This is a huge deduction because this two clue now has seen, it sees two green cells. So that must be wall but more importantly this must be wall and now don't make checkerboards so that's got to be wall that's got to be wall 
Oh, this is huge. This is it's huge and beautiful. Look at this this domino of greenliness in the bottom left. Now that domino of greenliness has to orthogonally connect to its friends. Well, the only way it can get out now is to go all along the bottom. So these cells have all got to be green. And that means that mu this must be a one, two pair, mustn't it? Because it, these two cells have got to add up to three. I mean, it's possible. I'm just looking at this. It's possible this cage continues into this cell. No, it's not possible because all three of those cells would be green. Um, and they would add up to more than three, however we arrange them. So this must be a one, two pair and there's a two here. So this is going to be a two. <laughs> he can reveal some more fog. That's going to be a one. Um, that cell is now at least a five because it sees five horizontal. Oh, right. So we can say now that this cell is definitely green. Because imagine this wasn't green. Imagine that was wall. Now the count of green cells seen by row 9, column 1 is the same as the count of green cells seen by row 9, column 2. And that's going to break the rules of Sudoku. So that's wrong. That cell there has got to be green. And this cell is going to have one more than this cell in it. Oh, although there's doublers in here, aren't there? Oh, I've got three cells adding up to 33. Hang on. Uh, oh, right. OK, so the, it's the nine that's doubled. doubled. <laughs> the nine is doubled. That's a new word. Um, no, because the maximum I could put into these three cells by Sudoku would be a seven, eight and a nine. And seven, eight and nine add to 24. 33 is nine more than 24. So the only possible way this works is if the nine is doubled. And the eight, so these are seven, eight, nine. I don't think I know which one the doubler is, do I? Um, I know that that is not the doubled one. Because if that was nine, that would see one more cell and ought to be a 10. So that isn't, that's not nine. That's not seven by the same logic. Um, so that, right, so the doubler in box seven is either this cell or this cell and i ordinarily i use red to highlight possible cells that are doublers in puzzles but i'm just nervous if i do that here i'm going to have i'm going to have a third color influencing things and that's going to to well it's a fourth color really because i've got grace or fifth color i've got white gray green and blue already going on so i think i'm just going to try and remember that the doublers in one of those two um okay so we might be at the point now where we have to really think about what's going on two by sudoku is in one of these three cells and this oh right actually here's a simple point this is good right that cell is at least a seven and it can only see cells in in row nine so I must, this must be a stretch of at least seven greens, which uh, might be important <laughs> for reasons I can't quite establish. Oh, bobbins, right. Um, oh, hang on, hang on. That... Well, that cell's got to be at least a seven as well, because it's going to see. Um, it's going to see everything that this one sees, but it can't have the same number as this one. So does that mean this can't be eight? Because if this was eight, this would be nine. Oh, this could be doubled. Oh, good. Ah, Whoa. whoa, right. OK. If that was doubled, this could be doubled as well. Okay, I had not even...
begun to think through things like that. So if that was doubled, then that could be walled off, but that could still see an absolute plethora of a green in column five. Okay, right, so we know the value of this cell in terms of what it's going to... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, there's a problem here, because the other thing that's now occurring to me is look at the structure of this 12 cage. We know those two cells are definitely included within in the, within the count because there's no wall between there's no cage wall between this cell and this cell. So that cell is at least a 3. So This, this can't have the same, it has, it's the value of this. It, and by value, I mean, I mean, let's, it could be, it could be a low number, but doubled. And I'm referring to the doubled value. The, the sort of, the number of green cells this, uh, this cell sees it must have a different value. No, it must. No, it must have a different absolute number to this. Obviously, if that's seven, well, no, if that's eight, this could be seeing the same number of green cells by being a double four, and that wouldn't break the rules of Sudoku. So that that could be right, you know. So that would be eight. That would be nine, and it would see one more to make nine. Oh no, but then that couldn't be doubled. Oh, I'm getting myself really confused here. Uh, if this is not, because if this is not doubled, let's just try and make this seven, for example. No, it, it can't be, it can't be less than this. This is the, ah, I'm getting myself really confused. It can't, if that is an actual seven, I don't dare put it in. I can put it in as a pencil mark because if I put it in and it's wrong, well, if it's wrong, that won't move. And if it's correct, that will, that will be deleted and that will be akin to cheating. I don't want to do that. So if that is seven, that would be suggesting that this is eight. And if that's eight, that's a complete paradox. Because this 8 would see 8 this way. So this is seeing at least 8 this way as well. So that is not an absolute value of 7. That's just impossible. Now if this is 8 on the other hand. How does that work? If this is 8. This is 7. So it's seeing 7 this way. This needs to see one more vertically. Which puts another green cell into this. So that would ha that could work I think. If this is eight, no, because that's going to be that's got to be one more. That's impossible as well. But the problem with this being eight is that that will make this a seven. But we know that this cell is seeing one more green than this one, so this doesn't work either. So this is not eight, and it's not seven, and yet it must see seven. Now, if it's nine. That cannot work either. This is weird. This is, it's really pretty actually. If this is nine, that's eight and that's seven. And that, that seems to work at this point until we consider how, the, how this 12 cage works. Because by making this nine, we know it's seeing seven along the bottom because this is eight and this is seven, which means this cell has to turn green. And if that happens, those three cells are in the 12 cage and they're all green. And there's a nine and a three in those two. And that can't be a zero. Oh, no. And it, can, and it would be green. So it would have a positive value, which would count. So this doesn't work. Right. So this is all a long winded way of saying that this cell is doubled. And therefore, so is that one, because there's only one doubler in each row, column and box. Wow. And we know, therefore, that's a nine because we know the nine is doubled. Right. I have to find a way of displaying absolutely known doublers. Uh, maybe I could use, can I use the pen tool somehow? Ooh, I don't like that color. Let's try 
red. Oh, that's rather nice. Yes. Okay, so those two cells are doubled. Um, so, and now what is this then? So now, well, no, now it's great. That's now eight. That's seven by Sudoku. So that that's now wall. Um, this is a doubled value, so it's, it has an even value. And, and this is definitely included, so that cannot be five. Um, actually, let me think. Yeah, this has to be four, I think. Because it needs to be, it's in a circle. It's seeing at least seven. It can't be seven because it can't be three and a half. So it's got to be four. But if it's five, then because this is also included in the count, we'd be at least at 13. So that has to be four. I'm going to put it in and hope that was right. That, that felt right, didn't it? So that's revealed this now. That's now seeing eight. Now we know it only sees seven in the bottom row, so that is green. That therefore is wall to stop it seeing more than, it must see exactly eight, which it now does. Those seven plus one. Don't make a two by two of green. Gosh, this is, this is really intricate, so that's got to be blue. Don't make a checkerboard, that's got to be blue. This now I think is going to have to be a three and this is going to have to be a one because if this was anything other than three it would break the total given that this is counting eight so that's a three and that seems correct it revealed things that's a one let's not misclick here oh goodness what did that do so that revealed an that revealed a very odd looking eight cage this greenly area has not escaped so it must escape with another green here and that's in an eight cage, right? What's that number? Oh, look. Well, it's not nine. <laughs> right, we've got five, six, and nine to put in the bottom. That cell can't be nine because if it was nine, that would have to be minus one, and that's just perverse. Um, golly gosh, right. So, what do we do next? There's a one in one of these cells by Sudoku. And <laughs> this could be where we get we get completely bamboozled. Um, that digit is not one or two. So that could be that's at least a three. And it's seeing horizontal digits, isn't it? So if that was a minimum number of three, that cell would see everything horizontally that this one sees. So that would be, that would have to have it. Oh no, hang on this. No, I'm wrong about that. It's true to say that that is at least a three, but it sees the two. Ah, so that one could have wall above it. So this could, this could be lower, this cell, this circle could be lower than this one, I think. If that is a three, let me just think about that. If that's a three, that will be shaded in. That will be shaded in because this green cell is seeing its three quota already. That will be shaded to avoid a checkerboard. That would have to be green to get this green triomino out. So this would be green. So this would be three. This is now seeing three, but cannot be three. So that would be at least four, which would mean it would have to go up again. So, mm, okay, I haven't quite got my head around this then. So I don't know don't quite know. I think these are under a bit of pressure, but I can't quite visualize how much. Oh, this eight cage as well, look. Well, it looks like it's going here, so it could it could collect green digits. Oh, no, right. This is not where I should be looking. This is where I should be looking. What's that digit? Well, that digit is not a one. 
So it's at least a 2, but it can't be more than 3, or this will add up to more than 8. So that's a 2 or a 3. But much more relevant than that is that that cell is blue. And I say that because if it wasn't blue, if it was green, it's in the 8 cage and it cannot be a 1. So it would be adding at least 2 plus 3 plus 5, and then it would make this have to be a 10 cage, which it's not. So that is blue, and that's interesting, because that has this green still hasn't got out then. So that green's got to go up there, which isn't helping me with my 8 cage. Oh, so now, well, it, it, or is it? I've now got three green digits in my 8 cage. Neither of these can be a 2. So this is, I think this is getting constrained. Here's another little point. Right, what colour is that cell? And the answer is green, because if it wasn't, if this was a blue cell, then this could not now be uh, green, because green couldn't then orthogonally connect to its friends, and it also cannot be blue because it would make a 2 by 2 of blue. So that cell is green, and green has to get out. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, beyond that, I don't know what it means. Depends how far this 8 cage comes. So these two cells do now sum to 8. If, right, hang on, hang on, hang on. If that is not a 1, what is it? Because it can't be a 2, because 2 is there. That would be at least a 3. And if that's a 3, these two cells, neither of which can be 1, because they already see 2, and neither of which can be 2, these would have a value of at least 3, and 3 plus 3 is 9. So that cell, which is green, it's in this 8 cage, is a 1. Whoa, oh, this is, I love these puzzles. There is just something so magical about them. Right, it's like, it is like opening an advent calendar, isn't it? This, this cell is now green by the power of circularness. Oh, goodness me, that's in a 28 cage. What's, what on earth is that? That's not, well, okay, there is now definitely a doubler in here. Um, because you can't make 28 in three cells with just pure um, normal numbers because seven, eight, nine only add up to 24. We can't be doubling the nine in there though. Right. Um, oh, I see, right, and now my eight cage. Well, so this, this must now be blue, mustn't it? If that's green, then this 8 cage is adding up four different numbers, and the triangular number for 4 is 10, i.e. what's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and that's higher than 8. So that cell is blue, which means that cell is blue to avoid a checkerboard. This cell is green to avoid a 2 by 2, and that gives us a stretch of green to try and get this green to connect. Wow. Wow. This, this is brilliant already. This is absolutely brilliant. Now... This has to be some sort of, well, doesn't it have to be a 3-4 pair, I think? Because neither of these, these are circled cells, so they have to be counting what they see, but neither of them is allowed to be a 2 by Sudoku, so they're at least 3, because neither of them could be 1, because they're each seeing 2 already. So these are at least 3. Um which means they might, they just are a 3-4 pair. I, don't, I haven't quite worked out what the order of them is yet, but they are a 3-4 pair because they can't be anything else. Um, they can't be a 3-5 pair because then the circled, the green cells in this cage would add up to 9. So this is a 3-4 pair, which means that cell is now... Well, that's a big number. That is a... Which is not surprising because it's in the 28 cage. Um, and it could even be doubled. But it's... it. It's already seeing four cells vertically, and it can't be a four, so it is a five, six, seven, eight, or a nine, assuming it's not a doubled, a, a low doubled number. But I think, what's the minimum doubled number you could have to make this work? If you had nine and eight, if you had nine and seven as natural numbers, 16, 
you'd still need a, another 12. So you need a double six in here. You need a double six. So no, this cannot be a very low number doubled because we need at least a double six. So it's a double six, seven or eight in this cage. Um, right now, okay, so this is what this is seeing three, isn't it? Okay. Goodness, so what on earth am I meant to see now? I mean, I'm just I was trying to think about whether I knew which way round these go. If that's a three, that's shaded. That then needs to see four. It's only seeing two, so those two would become green. If that's a four, this would become shaded because we'd see three. Oh, maybe all three of those have to be green, do they? Maybe that's the point. You can't double nine. So if you doubled eight in this cage, you'd get 16. And OK, yes, all that's it, isn't it? All three. Ah, this is it. This is it. This is lovely. All three of these must be green or we can't reach 28. So we, th we shade those in. And now that's got to be shaded because otherwise these digits are seeing far too many in their row. This is beautiful. So now that cell, we can get an exact count on. It's seeing three, which means that, that, that was correct. Look, it's revealing. Oh, oh, we got another doubler. Right, so that's not doubled because we've got an 18 cage here in two cells. And yet, obviously, nine and eight only add up to 17. So there is a doubler in here. There's no doubler here. There's a doubler in here. Uh, there must be a way of, I could put, multiple circles in but that seems seems a bit silly right hang on that's not doubled is it that's going to break the eight cage so there's also a doubler in one of those two cells because i've not put a doubler in box nine at the moment oh ah, i hadn't spotted this but i have now this apparently is in the eight cage well, if it is, and if it was green, what would it be? It wouldn't be a one, it would be at least a two, and this would add up to too many. So that's got to be wall, which means that's got to be green. Um, okay. I don't quite. I have a feeling I'm meant to know something on the, on the as a result of that, but I don't think that I do. So the count of this cell now: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, it's seeing seven, so that cannot be five or six. This is at least a seven, and it. But it could be doubled. But if it was doubled. I'm just thinking, is that going to take it off the edge of the grid? If that was doubled, it would have to be a double. It can't be a doubled eight and so double nine. So it'd be a doubled eight or a doubled seven. If it was doubled seven and it was seeing 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's no way you can't see that many cells. So that cell is not doubled. And that one is. Wow. That's doubled. Um, now, we know that the doubler is at least six. I worked that out before, didn't I? So that's six, seven or eight doubled. Now, if it's six doubled, that gives us 12. We need 16 here. So this would be a seven, nine pair. If it's seven doubled, that's 14, then this is either a six or a five. I don't see a problem with that. And if it's 
Uh, what was the other option? 8 doubled. 8 doubled would mean these add up to 12. So this would be a 5 or it couldn't be a, uh, it couldn't be a 3. So this would be a 5 then. And that would be a 7. So that would be shaded. Okay, so now, now this is getting tricky. I can't quite see can't quite see how to resolve that. Hmm. So what is it I've missed here? Answers on a postcard, please. Uh, oh, I suddenly worried that this could be a nine doubled with a with a shaded cell. Oh, that would be horrible. But it can't be, can it? Oh, hang on, the four. I haven't done the four circle. That's only seeing two at the moment. So th those two have to be green. Aha! So that's got to be shaded. But we know both of these. Yes, I do know both of these have to be green because if they weren't both green, the only way of making 18 would be with a double nine, but we can't do a double nine again. So that's green. Avoid a checkerboard. That's green. Avoid a two by two. That's shaded. Oh, I need that to go. I need that to go one more, so I know what. Oh, hang no, hang on, I don't. I was, I was getting confused. Right, it's not this one that is doubled, but that this shaded cell is capping this out. That's seeing seven, so that is a seven. Ah, oh, that and it was right. Look, it, it it freed up some fog. So what's going on now? So now I need. This is even, this is odd, we're heading up, so this is an odd number, and it's not 3 or 7, it probably can't be 1, but it, it is 1, 5 or 9 in theory, if it's 1, that's, no, that's not 1, I can't make the, the doubler big enough, so it's not 1, so that's 5 or 9, now if it's 5, we've got 12 here, so we need double 8, what's wrong with that? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, if it's nine here, I need double six. What's wrong with that? I don't know. Oh, you rotten thing. Oh, I know where the doubler is here. There's a doubler in this column, so that's a doubler. Aha! Another tiny deduction, but everything I get like this is welcome. I've just spotted something else. That is a uh, sus well, it's susceptible to a two by two of greenliness if that's green. So that's got to be wall. Avoid a checkerboard. That's got to be wall. That's a, that's not one of the counting circles. That's a doubled circle. Right, let's just take a stare at the grid now. Have we got any sort of connectivity issues? I don't think so. This is a doubled cell. Now, what, what sort of values can this have to allow this to work? If we're looking for even numbers, this is an even number, isn't it? Because that's an even number and 18 is even. So we know we're adding two even numbers together. This cannot be four. So in theory, it's two, six or eight. If it's two, oh, it can be two. Sorry, I was just about to say, of course it can't be two, because I was thinking this wouldn't get high enough. But if this is two, that would be a doubled eight. Oh, that's weird. Okay, that's possible. So if the, oh, it's not six. If it's six, that has to be a doubled six to make it work, because three sixes are eight. That's cool. So it's not six. So it's either two or eight. If it's eight, oh, that's five. I don't believe it. Oh, that's so weird. That's so weird, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Well, that's that is weird. That's all we can say about that. I think. I think. Um. Have oh, I see. Hang on. If that's if that's eight now, that would be forced to be five. That would be forced to be eight. And if that's eight that's forced to be five. Hang on, does that give me two fives in this box or am I going mad? I, I, I can't put them in as well because it might reveal stuff that I'm not allowed to know. Let me just think this through. If that's eight, 
that's 16's worth of digits. So I need 12 more, that becomes five. So if this is eight, this is definitely five. But if this is eight, this is definitely five because I can't repeat this. That's so beautiful, isn't it? It's such a lovely deduction. So that is not eight, that is actually six. Yes, and it was right, it revealed fog. So that's definitely nine. Let's just check the maths. Yes, we need 16 more, so that's got to be nine. Oh, see that didn't reveal anything. Oh, maybe because the seven's already revealed what it's meant to. Maybe the combination of the seven and the four. Yes, that's already been revealed. So that's probably not surprising. This didn't give me another digit. I've got an 11 cage that's materialized on the right, which has at least three counting digits in it, which is mildly interesting. Oh no, whoa, 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 I might have broken this. Because rather worryingly, I think I now know where the doubler goes in box nine. And you can see by Sudoku, it's in one of these cells, but we know that's not doubled because we couldn't have kept this down. So, so that's doubled, but that's in an 11 cage, which already, oh yeah, and look, this can't be one or two. So if that's, th I suppose three is not that high. Um, Well, certainly this has got to be quite low because we're adding at least, if we made that a two and that a one, this cannot be higher than double. It can't be double four. Oh, goodness. Well, if it's double five, it's going to get too high once I add two different digits to it. So it is, it is double three. I said, oh, there, yeah, and it is double three. There it goes, it revealed. So it's double three counting for six, which means you can't add three more different digits to it in order to get to... Um, so if this, if, the, if that was green, then we'd have three different digits plus six, which would give us at least, well, actually more than 12 because we couldn't, we'd have to use at least one, two, four in that string. So actually that cell is now blue. It, oh, and that's right. And look, that cell is in the 11 cage as well. So if that was green, I'd have the same problem. So that's telling us the corner is blue. So these two digits have to add up to five without using any doublers and without using the digit three. So they are a one, four pair and we know the order because of this one. Good grief, four goes here, yeah. One goes here, which oh, I see, and that didn't reveal anything because the six had already got it. So this three means this cell's a two, which means this cell's a six by mathematics, which gives us a five, nine pair here which means that we've got a seven, eight pair in this column. Now, what else have we got then? We know there's a doubler up here. Although I know that's a six, that didn't have the same effect on this doubler that, the, that this being an eight would have had. So I still don't know what the doubler is in there. I can probably do more cave logic now. I feel like I've not thought about cave for a couple of seconds. Um, there's a one in one of these cells by Sudoku. This is a seven, eight pair. Can I do anything? I can get three by Sudoku in that cell. So that means there's a three in one of these cells. Which is potentially interesting. So in this box down here, I've not put in fours, fives, and sixes. Um, I was about to say that six is in a circle, so I can do the count for how many it's got to see up there. But that six is not in that sort of circle. It's in a doubler. So I've got, I've got doublers, three, four, six, and nine. So I've got to find the doublers for one, two, five, seven, and eight. Um, okay. And really I'm running out of, I'm running out of places to look now for 
Any sort of deduction, really. What could I do? I know quite a lot about row six. I've got... Oh, I see. Right, I've got some Sudoku to do. Look, two, five and eight in this row are in those cells. Which means that's not an eight. But more importantly, it seems that this is a two, five, eight triple. So is that somehow important? So these squares, Mark would be proud of me. I'm going to pencil mark them. One, three, six and seven, I think. So that's not one. Those are not three. So three is now in one of these two cells, which means three is in one of these two cells, which I don't think is doing quite enough work. Um, okay. Wow. <laughs> what does that mean? Does there have to be an eight in that either way round? That would be nice. That would give me an eight here. Uh, if this is, yes, either it's double, either we're doubling the eight or we're doubling the five and putting an eight there. There is an eight in that cage. So that's not eight. And now, by logic, in the terms of the 2-5 pair logic, that is an 8. Now, is that going to reveal yes? Oh, that's... Yes, that is magnificent. Now, because this is a, a real 7 cage with no doubler affecting it, and I know the lower digit is 2 or 5, so I know the upper digit is 2 or 5. Now, I've got a 2-5-8 triple in row 5 as well. That cell is not 5. Um... What, right, okay, well, look at this. That is a 258 triple. I've not put 25 or 8 into box 6, so they have to live in the top of that box, which means that's not 2, that's not 8. Bobbin's, Bobbin's face tells us we don't know what this one is, but we do therefore know that these squares are 3, 4, and 9 in some order, and that cell is a 9 out of absolutely nowhere, and I got it, and it gave me reveal it revealed this cell is green because it's in a circle um what else has it done <laughs> it's revealed that's in a circle it's in some sort of cage but it's not told us the total of this cage it's right we've got a three in one of those so I see. So I've got, I've got a one six seven triple here. These are from one six and seven. I know that's not a one. I know this is not a seven. Um, okay. Therefore, what does that mean? I have not got a clue. Oh, the nine is doing some work in the bottom row. Nine and five, bit of Sudoku for us. So that squares now a two or an eight. It can't be eight. It just simply cannot be eight. There's no way it can reach the total of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the most number of cells it sees. That's a two and it was right. That's a five. That's an eight. Oh, Goodness me, we've got another cage revealed, although a weird one, greater than or equal to 34. That is deliberately obtuse, isn't it? Um, though, though, though this is a two, so that's only going to see that cell or that cell. Uh, okay, one second, let me just think about this. And look, in this column, I know all sorts of things. These squares are a six, seven, eight, triple. These squares are one, they're one, two, three. Oh, they're just one, two, three, and four. Okay, and so these squares are three, four, three, four, five, and nine, I believe. Although that one can't be five because we've already had a five in this cage. Oh, so that one can't be eight by the same token. 
that one can't be two by the same token. Right, so uh, yes, all right, that one you can see I can rev I can get rid of quite a lot of digits from it because it sees two, three, five, eight, nine. So its only options are one, f one, four, six, and seven for that cell, which is looking like it's trying to do something. Um, I've got to get that to touch the boundary somehow, which probably means it's going to take that cell just to connect connect itself very um, with a with a certain amount of alacrity to the edge. Two five eight. Ah. Where does oh I see where does eight go in this in this well this eight actually sees those three oh the, the simple right the very simple question is where does eight go in row seven because it can't repeat in this this funny cage so it's it's actually got to be there so that's a seven. which means one of these two cells is now an eight. It means that four, look, is in one of those three cells. Wow. Um, oh, that's, oh, that's my phone. Oh, it's my phone going crazy. I thought, gosh, it sounded like my, I don't know if you ever get that funny noise coming from a hard drive when it turns on. That sounded like that. And it was like, oh, no, 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 don't go wrong. Um, right, eight is in one of these three cells by Sudoku. Oh, I'm starting to, I've, I feel like I've really dried up on my ability to use the blue, the blueliness of the of the grid, and the greennesses. So, I'm sure there must be something intelligent I can do in that regard. Two by Sudoku is in one of those cells in box five which is mildly interesting. So two by Sudoku is in one of those two cells in box two. Well, so two is in one of those three. Yeah, so if you look at twos here and twos in box in this box, you can see the two is locked into one of those two cells. So these twos are aligning and we now can't put twos in any of those six cells. So two is in one of those cells and it's not in that one. Um, oh, if, oh no, in fact, it's not in that one either. 2.5 is looking at that. Right, so so that by hook or by crook, we get a 2 here. Now that is right in the middle of the fog. Ah, well, all right. I was a, well, no, actually that is interesting. I was thinking it's not given us anything in its surrounding cells, but in that cell itself, it's given us a green, green digit. It's given us a green digit and it's a circled digit, so I want to say that that has to be green. If that's, well, all right, I can tell you one thing. Right, the, these two cells here cannot both be blue, because if they were both blue, that would be a two by two of blueliness. So one of these two cells, at least, is green. Now if it's this one, that completes this green total. If it's this one, then in order for this one not to be um, green, this, this green, well no, in order, yeah okay, this is tricky, this is tricky. If that is not green, let's, let's start with that, if that is not green, this is green, but we have to avoid a checkerboard, so that would be green. So we can say with certainty that the green that surrounds, that connects with this, is either here, because this is green, or it's here, because this is not green, and therefore that's green, and we need to avoid a checkerboard. So one of those two is green, which, which is going to complete the count for this, so both of those are blue, and avoid a checkerboard, so that's blue. 
get this green out that's got to be green and that does it wow that's weird it's done now that's got to be blue avoid a checkerboard that's got to be blue get this green connected to its friends that's got that's beautiful that is amazing that i mean math pesto take a bow right now because that digit has done absolute ma oh more magic more magic that cell is green because if it was blue again we get this problem that this needs to be green to avoid a two by two but the green can never connect to anything so that's green and that green needs to get out so all of those turn green avoid a two by two with with just a uh, blueliness that's got to be green wow wow now let's just take stock of what that has done which must be a profound amount <sighs> he says pausing for breath and not actually getting anything um come on what has that done um oh dear nine nine in this box is restricted to one of those two cells which doesn't seem to do anything i oh see i could have got that a different way um <laughs> oh no come on i don't want to think about that that cage that seems complicated let me just think about that for a moment. Can I instantly rule out that being green or that being green? One of those has to be green to complete the two clue. So if that was green, that would be blue. That would be blue. That would knock two cells out of the 34 cage, which still has to... Oh, when I say 34 cage, it's got to be greater than or equal to 34. Oh, but it can have doublers. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, yeah, I, I, I totally neglected doublers in my thinking for ages. Sorry. Um, so that could be doubled everything. Ah, uh, okay. Where's the doubler in box four? Is it's not so that... Ah, and it, ah, all right. So this is a weirdity. This domino is a nine doubler domino. It's got nine in it, we know that. And by Sudoku, it's got the doubler in it. And the doubler can't be the same as the nine because we've already doubled the nine. So the doubler in this box has got to be a digit we haven't doubled yet, which is, <laughs> okay, there are a lot of digits we haven't doubled yet. So it's got, it's got to be a one. It could be a one. Let's actually just put the options in. It could be a one. It couldn't be a two by Sudoku, although two is a doubler we haven't found. It can't be three or four. We've doubled those. Uh, it can't be five because that's there. It can't be six. I've doubled that already. It could perhaps be seven. Is there a reason you couldn't put a seven doubler in these cells? Well, if there was a seven doubler, it would have to be there. Eight, it can't be. A nine, it can't. Wow, wow. Right, so look, I'm going to pencil mark these cells. These cells are, the options for these cells are these digits. One of them is a nine. The other is a doubled one or a doubled seven. So those, those, I want to say they form a one, six, seven, nine quadruple. I think they do. So four, right, so is that the point that four can't go in here because it can't be doubled? Yes, that's, I suppose that's the simplest way of seeing it, is to say the doubler is in these cells with a nine and four can't be here because it can't be doubled and it isn't equal to nine. So four goes there. Wow, okay, so that's oh, that gives me a six down here. Wow, okay. Um... So these cells are now one, three, and seven, I want to say. So I can get rid of the three corner mark. And, okay, <laughs> what does this mean? Um, 
I don't know. It's, it's really is getting complicated now, though. I've got a lot of things I'm trying to keep track of. I'm trying to keep track of my cave. I'm trying to keep track of my doublers. And I'm trying to, a little bit, keep track of Sudoku. <laughs> um, oh, right. Let's do a bit more Sudoku. There's a six here now. So that seems to put a six, eight pair into this box down at the bottom, which means we now know those squares are five, seven and nine, I think. Let's do central marks, five, seven, and nine. That's not nine. Um, really? I can't do any better than that. It's the four has to be here in this row. Oh, yes, look, there's a four there. So Sudoku helps me. Five, four. Doesn't do... Well, it puts a four into one of those three cells. Does it do? No, it puts a five into one of these two cells. Wow, okay. Um, what's the doubler up here? That's an interesting question. It's five. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my goodness me. Take a bow. Yes, 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 yes. Now, look, watch this. Watch this. Now, we know the doubler is in one of those cells, but I've already doubled three, four and nine. So the options for those cells that can be doubled is only the five. So there is a doubled five in one of those cells. And therefore, that cannot be doubled five. That must be doubled eight. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and it was right. Look, it revealed some stuff. So that's so that's a two now. This is a two. That's a five. Oh, see, so that's a five. That's a two. This is not a five anymore. Um... Okay, so there's a doubler up here. And there's a doubler in one of those three cells. And we know there's a doubler Oh, I've just had a horrible thought. I have just had a horrible thought. Have I made a mistake here? That two could be doubled. Oh my goodness me. I haven't doubled two yet. Oh no, how far back is that gonna take me if I, how do we avoid that? How can that not be a doubled two? What did I use? I assumed this wasn't a doubler, I think, because I'm, I'm seeing that I've surround. Yes, I did. I did. When I was thinking about how this two clue completed itself, I was very proud of the logic around these cells, but that's, that could be nonsense if that's a doubler. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Oh, sorry people. That's, I can't go on with that, can I? I cannot go on with that. That could be absolute nonsense. So we've got to unwind all that. Well, no, the two is correct. The two is correct because that was done by Sudoku, not by, not by all of the shading I did. So what did I then do? I, yeah, I made all sorts of assumptions about these two being blue. But if that's if that's doubled. It could, well, it can't see miles, but if it's doubled, it could see things that it's, it's, or maybe I could, is it possible if that's doubled, if that's doubled, you can't double anything in the 34 clue. Can you get to 34 without any doublers? 
Um, I think you can. Although, actually, I've got to be a bit careful. I can't just imagine all of that cage is green, can I? Because then it would have two by twos in it. So it's got to have at least two blue cells in it, actually. I hadn't thought of that. So that's got at least two blue cells. So what? I, in order to get to 34, that's green, and that's a low number. So... So I guess I need to take, if I took nine, eight, I could take nine, eight, six, seven, and two, and then I'm fine. I can get there. I can get there without a doubler. Okay, bobbins, right. So I can't rule that out. Oh, that's so, ash I'm so ashamed of myself. I'm so sorry, Math Pesto. Um, I didn't spot that at all. Um, and it may not even be true. But as I was, as I was thinking about well, OK, there are some things I can resurrect from this. The beautiful logic around the five is still valid, isn't it? Because look, I've got to put a doubler by Sudoku in these three cells and three, four and nine are still doubled. So the doubler up here is still five, which means that's still eight. OK, so that's eight. That's two. That's five. That's five. That's two. That's not four, which was a Sudoku point I missed before. But now, well, before I was able to say this was a four. Now that logic might still survive, actually. Because the doubler in this box is in this domino. Yes, and the logic I used for that was nothing to do with the two. The only digits these can be are nine. One of them must be a nine one and seven and we know that's not seven because we need to put a doubler in here and the only options left for doublers are ones and sevens that can go in this cell so we still do get a four here which means we still get a six here which means we still get a five here a four here a six yes okay the eight is doing work down here an eight six pair down here we get a five seven nine triple in this row so actually some of the logic that I did before has survived and that that's at least well, is not good but it's not a disaster now these squares at the top here have got to be a 137 triple which I think is what we had before but but now there's going to be some simple reason this isn't a double double <laughs> and I'm going to feel very, well I'm not going to feel silly because I did uh, it was a legitimate possibility that I ought to have ruled out and didn't and I definitely did a load of shading off the back of it that was unjustified um, and you've probably all been shouting at me about it I apologize for that five therefore is still up here how do I get a handle then on doublers <laughs> I've got so I know there's a right so I know there's a five doubler up there so the digits that are undoubled that I haven't worked out yet are ones twos and sevens ones twos and sevens so he says what does that mean I wish I knew <laughs> um, ones twos and sevens now and the boxes that I've got left to find my doublers in oh my goodness me oh my goodness me the two is doubled it's actually beautiful. It's really simple. It's really simple once you see it. If you if you say to yourself over and up, over and over again, the digits that are left to be doubled are one, two, and seven. The digits that are one are left to be doubled are one, two, and seven. Eventually, even if your head is as thick as mine, you will appreciate the point. Look at this box. I've got to put a doubler in it. Well, the one and the seven are in that column, and they cannot be doubled because of that nine. So the one and the seven are not doubled in this box. So the only thing that can be doubled is the two. 
So that is doubled. Oh, ho, 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 ho. right. So that gets right. OK, so all the shading I did up here was absolute gibberish. Um, oh, which is disappointing. And that, that's complicated things as well. I don't quite. I mean, obviously, this is now counting four cells. It needs to see from a greenliness perspective, but quite how it occupies those green cells. I know one of these at least must be green. Um, I'm sorry, I should be able to understand that more clearly and I can't. I've been discombobulated. Right, what about, well, hang on, let's now maybe turn our attention to the 34 cage then, which, which doesn't have any doublers in it. So I'm tempted now to look more seriously about this going here, because if that is green and that is therefore blue to seal the two in, that's also blue. And all of a sudden I've really reduced the size I can get to because I've knocked out the eight, which is a blue digit. I've knocked out a six or a seven. So the maximum I could get from the remaining digits would be I could put a nine here. I could put I could put seven here, four here, three here. I don't want to put any of these in because it, it will reveal things. So I can go seven. I can't go seven and six because that would if I make one of these green digits seven, I'm going to make that the six as a result. So I can go seven, four, three, which is 14. And nine is 23 and that's 30. That's nowhere near enough. Right. So that is the key, isn't it? So this is not green. This is green. That's blue. That's blue. This, oh, don't make a checkerboard. So that's blue. Don't make a two by two. That's green. Don't make a checkerboard. That's green. Don't make a... Uh, oh, hang on. I was about to say don't make a checkerboard. But that's... Well, no, hang on. I've got to get this green out. So that's got to be green. And now don't make a checkerboard. That's got to be green. Now don't make a two by two. So that's got to be blue. Okay, so I have avoided the deadly... The deadly two by two edge there. I've got. I, I needed to put two blues in this eight cell sequence. I have done that now. Um, and I've got to make this add up to at least thirty four. Which, well, I'm tempted to say that must be a nine, but that might be wrong. I've got ten at the moment. If I make these a 6-7 pair, which seems to be legitimate, that would get me to 23. Oh no, yeah, I do need that to be a 9. It gets nowhere near 34 if that's not a 9, because I'd be adding 3, 4, 6, 7, 8 and 2 together, and that's not enough. So that is 9. I mean, oh, <laughs> give me more stuff. Um, right. OK, let's 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 double check this again now. So now I've got 19 here. I need at least 15 more. So again, doesn't this have to be a six or a seven? If this was a one, the maximum those two could add up to would be 11. So that would be 12. And I need at least uh, was it at least 15. So that's not a one. So that gives me a six, seven pair, which means that's not six or seven. So now now we're up to 32. That can't be a one because that would give me 33, which is not the same as 34 or higher. So this is now not a one. Uh, sorry, this is not. Ah. I've got a three, four pair in the column. Good grief. So that becomes a one, two pair at the top of the grid. I've got a, I've got a greater than seven cage here. greater than seven. OK. I've got. What else have we got here? Can we do any more? Can we do any more of anything? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting stuck here. Um, I could argue that. What what have you done here, Math Pesto? 
what have you done? So I now think I'm whether this is three or four, I mean I'm in safe territory. So that's fine. This digit, if that's a three, oh, this could be, oh, hang on, I've got to do a doubler down here, haven't I? There's a doubled, there's a doubled five up here. Doubled five, if this was doubled five, it would count ten, which would mean the, the seven clue, the greater than or equal to seven clue would work, but I don't think that's going to work for the the count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh it can, it can actually fit it could actually fit okay so that's disappointing uh um what i mean what on earth am i meant to do now uh Is there a way to know? Have we got have we got some sort of connectivity issue with anything here? I don't know. I mean this this whole air I think this two clue is probably doing some magic that I just don't understand. Um What, what about the other doublers as well? That's something else I need to think about, isn't it? So I've got my two doubler now. I've got a one or a seven doubling here. So I need to have, is it a one or a seven doubling up here? I think it is. Yeah, so I think in this two by two, I've got, two doublers to find this can't be a doubler because it sees the two here so up here where i know i've got a, did the digit two by sudoku i've got to have the other doubler so doesn't that mean they can't have a this can't be a two four pair so if that was a two four pair i wouldn't have a doubler in this column right so there's no four up here which makes this cell a four which was correct. Oh, that's a relief. That means that cell's a three. That's a three. That's a four. That did seem to reveal something up here, but I'm not sure it was very useful. So these digits up here are, are definitely the two, and then a one or a seven, which is going to be the doubler, just as we've got over there. Now we can ask where five goes in this column, apparently, because we can't put five up here because we know we need a doubler and we know there's a five doubled over there. Good grief. So that cell becomes a five, which means that cell's not a five, which puts a five over there, which I think is going to be totally useless. I now know for sure in this column, look, that there's a six in here. So there's no sixes in any of those cells. So the six in this row now has to be exactly equal to there, which makes that cell have to be a seven. I'm a bit worried by the fact that nothing's nothing's emerging from the fog of fog of doom over there. Um, so this now cell is now one apparently. And in this row, we need five, six and eight. And the five is therefore exactly here. Yes, correct, good. So there's a six, eight pair left to place. And right, has that actually helped us at all is the question now. So this, this, this in the end ended up adding up to 35, which is fine. Um, and all we've got to do now, he says, without a clue about how to do it, all we've got to do now is figure out what's going on with the remaining doublers. This cell is not a one, I've just noticed. It's probably Sudoku, isn't it? That's what it would normally be when I get totally and utterly bamboozled. 
So how am I getting bamboozle? That's not a six anymore. So this is there's definitely a three in this domino. This is a one or a seven. So there's definitely we already know there's a two up there. We know there's a two up there. Hmm. So what is it? I've got to get I've got to get this to an edge. I've got to get this connected to green. I mean this is obviously going to connect here somehow some way. This is a four, this is a four count, isn't it? So is there some I mean I can see I could take those three cells and then I've still got to take one in this direction. But I could just take those four and then make these two blue. And I don't see immediately what's wrong with that. So, hmm, I don't know. I'm struggling to see how to resolve this, and that's very frustrating. One, three, seven, nine. These are these cells are no longer five. They are from one, three, seven, nine. We've got a three, seven pair there as well. So is there some sort of strange connectivity issue? Like, okay, that's definitely blue. One of, okay, one of these has to be blue. Uh, oh, wow, goodness me. Right, if this cell was blue, then to avoid a checkerboard, that would be blue. And those would both be blue and you'd only be left with a one or a two in the cage and it couldn't add up to seven. So that is green. Wow. And therefore that's blue to avoid a two by two. Now this is green because otherwise we're going to get this age old problem about having if this is blue, that's got to be green to avoid a two by two and the green is stranded. So those two turn green. Um... Okay, that's quite exciting. It is quite exciting, but it still hasn't cracked the puzzle. Because the problem is, this could still be a... If that's a doubled five... Well, this is not a three anymore, actually. It's already seeing four. So I'm going to put... It's up to double... It's up to either five, which would be doubled, or four... Oh, it's lovely. Good grief. Well, it's not four. If it's four, it's seeing four, and that has to be blue. And then, then the cage count would be wrong, because it would be four, not greater than or equal to seven. So that is five, and the consequence of it being five, oh, it's correct, is that it's doubled. And if it's doubled, it's going to see all sorts of shenanigans now, because that cell's now... A th well, that cell is a four at the top. Let's put that in. But this five, I think, is the really interesting thing, because this five is in a circle. It's not just in a red circle. It's in a, a black circle. So this five needs to see 10 cells. One, two, three. It can only see 10 by seeing the entire row. All of those give us seven here, eight, nine, 10. And now I've got to avoid a two by two of green. So that becomes shaded. This this hasn't connected to an edge of the grid, so it's got to come through there. This is beautiful. Now that's got to avoid a two by two by being green. So this is now seen. Oh, look, no. no ah, avoid a two by two here. That's got to be blue. This doesn't see four yet, so it goes to the top of the grid. Avoid two by twos on both sides of it. Wow. Oh, the, I mean, this is a sensational puzzle. It is sensationally clever. Um, oh, look, I've just noticed there's a cage emerging from the fog that I don't know anything about. OK, so what, what does this mean? Right, so now we know where the final... No, we... Oh, yeah, we do. Look, I've just realised something else. The last um, doubler up here must be in this cell by Sudoku. So that's not the nine. That's lovely. So that's going to be a seven. Uh, let me try and put seven into the cell, which makes that six, that one, that nine. So therefore, this is three. 
this is one, this is seven. So, okay, so now with ha having the seven doubler here, we need a one doubler in this box, and we know that that must be exactly there by Sudoku of all things now, because we can't put two doublers in this row. So that becomes a one. That's revealed some things. I'll check what that is in a minute. That all becomes clear. Um, this is a 19k, although I can't see its extent yet. Those squares are not ones. Um, so what's that doing for the price of bread? Has that resolved anything? I've now got all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got all my doublers. I've got that's oh that's a non count that doesn't count in the nineteen gauge. <laughs> uh, so that's quite funny. Um, what else can we say here? I've got these sixes and eight. Oh, the sixes and eights are resolved by Sudoku of all things, of course. So we can get rid of the eight pencil mark at the top of the grid. Let's have a look. What are those two squares? They have to be four and uh, four and nine. I can do that. Four goes here. That completes something. Four and nine. That's now not nine. So it gives me a three, seven pair in this row. Uh, and it gives me a five, six pair, which I can resolve over here. So that's five. That's six. That's six. That's eight by Sudoku. Um, it's very hard to believe this isn't solved now. This square here is an eight. So this square is three, seven or nine, I think. So somehow, some way, it must be this 19 gauge. <laughs> and still the puzzle is not telling us its final secret. That's weird. Right, okay, so this 19, we need to get this adding up to 19. Now, have we got any restrictions on this? We can't have, we've got to have a blue in those two cells actually, because otherwise we're going to have a two by two of green. So there is another, at least one blue cell to go. If both of these were blue, it wouldn't add up to 19. So one of these has got to be Oh, we can't have even digits. There's got, oh, that's it. There's got to be an odd digit in the cage. And we've got loads of even digits and a none counting odd digit. So that counts. And if that counts, that doesn't, doesn't count because otherwise we'd have a two by two. And now hopefully we can make, well, if that's, yes, if that's seven and that's six and they both count, we can add two and four to that and get 19. Good grief. So that's seven. That's a counting six. The, this is seven, oopsie, this is seven by the Sudoku, that's three. Uh, that, oh, this is gonna resolve. I don't believe it, what an unbelievable finish. So I think that's the puzzle solved. Um, I'm just gonna pause for a moment, I'm not literally gonna pause, I'm just gonna pause in my brain and think about whether it looks like the constraints are satisfied. That is 19. Gosh, I hadn't, oh, that, that's, doubled isn't it so that's easily over the seven threshold all the greens i think are orthogonally connected all of the doublers are found all of the blues get to an edge i think that's the solution let's click tick yes long video 90 minute video but what a puzzle again fogrotto it may be the most filthy word you've ever heard in your life um, but fogrotto is an absolutely beautiful puzzle Math pesto, that is another stunner. Absolutely love that. I'm sorry, I I um, made a butchery of that too. That was an oversight, but it's quite complicated, I think, the puzzle, actually. So I will forgive myself. I'm most relieved that I spotted it, actually, because that could have led me up a whole world of garden paths, and it already did. But at least um, those of you who are hoarse with shouting can now say, well, at least I did it logically, I think. Uh, let me know in the comments how you got on. I do enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And let's give Math Pesto some love because that puzzle deserves it. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Mm -hmm.